Hello everyone, Jeff the Green Review here. Light, color, quantity, and quality are important environmental factors in plant processes. Photosynthesis increases with brighter light intensity, but not all plants have leaves designed for bright light. Plants native to shady locations, such as on the forest floor, will not grow better when placed into full sun, not because of a photosynthesis problem, but because the layers of cells, the amount of chlorophyll, and the amount of wax on the leaf surface, and many other factors, will not allow the leaf to thrive. Etiliation happens when plants are grown in partial or complete absence of light. The, pro the plants grow long, weak stems due to the longer internodes, and there are fewer and smaller leaves. The plants will be pale, white to pale yellow in color, caused by a lack of chlorophyll. This coloration is called chlorosis. For instance, on the sedums, you can see that the internode spacing was very close together and the plants were short during the summer in the bright sunlight. But then when they, this plant was brought in in the winter time, you can see that the internode length is stretched a lot and each of these stems grew a lot taller as they were stretching towards the light. Plants that have been covered by leaf litter or shade from competing plants will etiliate toward light. What's this mean to me? Tree leaves need to be raked off grass so the grass leaves can get enough sunlight. When they don't, they'll turn yellow. And shrubs planted in too much shade will stretch way out towards the light around buildings or around trees. And so you might have a pruning problem when you have that kind of a situation. Not all light is the same. Sunlight is a mixture of many colors. Plants use some green light, but they reflect most of it away. Blue and red light are absorbed. Blue is used by plants for growth, while red helps control the flowering time in many plants. A test of two identical sets of garden seed trays placed under two types of grow lights were showing that the tray growing under the purple and red LEDs of a glow panel 45 produced short, healthy plants. The plants under a standard fluorescent light fixture etiolated toward the light that could not support themselves. What does this mean to me? Vegetable seeds that are growing in not enough light will etiolate towards a window or a light fixture. The plants will be too weak to stand up and will have a very hard time growing outdoors in full sun, wind, and rainy conditions. A bright light producing nearly the same colors as sunlight will help produce better vegetable seedlings for transplanting into the garden. The quantity of light a plant receives controls many plant functions, such as leaf abscission, which is falling off like in the fall. Bulb formation and bulb growth are also controlled by the quantity of light. The function that people are most concerned with is flowering. Plants that bloom when nights are longer than a critical length are called short day plants, such as fall blooming asters, chrysanthemums, and poinsettias. Day neutral plants are not affected by how long the day is, and long day plants bloom when there are long days and short nights, such as summer blooming perennials and vegetables. What's this mean to me? Many holiday floral plants can be brought into bloom in a greenhouse by changing the length of day using dark shade cloths or bright lamps. The two most common light manipulated plants are chrysanthemums and poinsettias. What's this mean to me? Not only are certain species better off in sun or shade, but each leaf will be different if grown in sun or shade. As the leaf begins to grow, it develops layers of cells, wax, and other structures depending on the amount of light and humidity it is receiving. If the plant is growing outside for the summer and you move it indoors for the winter, where the light level, humidity level, and temperature are different, the leaf must adapt. If it can't adapt, it will fall off. Some plants, such as ficus trees, are notorious for losing all their leaves when they're moved into new conditions. These ivy leaves show the leaf that was in the sun is much smaller and thicker, and the leaf growing indoors here in the, in the winter are much larger, trying to gather light, and they're much thinner so that light can go through the leaf. Leaves growing first thing in the spring on branches near the interior of the tree may receive plenty of light, but as the summer progresses, the new outer layers of leaves may block the light, and the interior leaves may start falling off in midsummer because they're not getting enough light. And this is Jeff with the Green Review. Thanks for watching.